Bilbao to Sicily and dramatic pictures of Europe's largest volcano erupting. For 40 days and 40 nights, Mount Etna had been erupting with a slow, steady anger. Then, a few days ago, a new phase began. Activity inside the 11,000-foot mountain became more violent, and a new crater burst open halfway down the slope. Now, the people living in the farms and villages below face disaster from thousands of tons of white-hot lava and burning ash surging downhill at 40 yards a minute. The lava streams pouring down the mountainside like the tributaries of a great river are joining together into an unstoppable monster. The main stream, now 500 yards across, has already buried hundreds of acres of rich farmland. there are about 700 active volcanoes around the world. Most of them lie along these lines of weakness on the Earth's crust. Volcanoes are the safety valves on the Earth's crust, easing the pressure from the radioactive heat that builds up under the surface. Every volcano has its own character, and just how destructive it is depends on how thick the lava is and how much gas it holds. Volcanoes in Hawaii, for example, have thin lava which lets out gases. And although they're very active, they're relatively harmless. But volcanoes like Mount Etna and its neighbor Vesuvius are very different. Here, the lava is thick, causing the gases to build up pressure until finally there's a great explosion. In AD 79, Vesuvius literally blew its top, wiping out the towns of Pompeii and Herculaneum. Here's what happens when a volcano erupts. A movement in the Earth's crust usually triggers it off by releasing pressure on the rock. The tremendous heat that's freed causes the rock to melt and the pressure forces it up through the weakest parts of the mountain. This pressure can be 100 times more powerful than the biggest hydrogen bomb. Mount Etna's newest eruption has opened up gaps in its side, adding to the craters already pouring out lava. Europe's biggest fireworks display began early last month, with balls of hot ash hurled hundreds of feet into the air. It was the first eruption by Etna for more than three years, and it's turned out... <laughs>
beginning, the eruptions were regarded by the Sicilians as an Easter bonus. A good living was surely to be made from the tourists who would flock to the island. It's estimated 50,000 tourists are now gathering daily to watch the eruptions. <laughs> The volcano may have brought the tourists, but it's also brought a wave of destruction. In the first two weeks of eruptions, molten lava knocked out the cable car system and pushed over several pylons. It also destroyed a hundred-year-old observatory high up on the slopes. a tremendous spectacle for the tourists. But in the cold light of day, the locals began to realize what a menace the lava had become. Two miles of the main tourist highway were quickly destroyed and soon another bridge was being swept away. were not the only casualties from the advancing lava. Already... Twenty years ago, this happened to his father. The family has only just recovered from that catastrophe. It takes 400 hazelnuts to make one kilo. Where are they to come from now? Ironically, it's the very richness of the volcanic soil that encourages the farmers to stay here and risk Mount Etna's eruptions. Now the lava the farmers salvage water. They have to ah. government compensation to cover only 20% of their losses. For this farmhouse too, time has also run out. With the lava barely a mile away, the furniture has to be moved to sea. The farmers have been told the lava is coming down the valley at 50 yards an hour. As the lava continues relentlessly downhill, the authorities have been studying the possibility of bombing Mount Etna to spread the lava flow, and they've also drawn up evacuation plans for five threatened villages. One of the villages, Fornazzo, has the lava on its doorstep. La preghiera del figlio di Dio, la preghiera del Redentore del mondo, la preghiera di Gesù Cristo salirà al cielo e egli lo ha detto. Santo, 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 Signore Dio del Cristo, il cielo e la terra sono pieni della tua gloria, Santa Madre di Thank you. 
the dying of the villagers took away the scenes and proceeded the villagers by. O Signore, o Signore, ascolta il popolo che ti prega, e perché la nostra gioia sia piena, esaudisci le preghiere dei tuoi fedeli. Per Cristo. An old woman kneels and weeps by a barbed wire fence. She looks afraid and she's reasonable. So far, nobody's been killed in the present series of eruptions. But what if Etna suddenly exploded, as Vesuvius once did? We asked Professor Alfredo Rittman, one of Italy's did when leading volcanologists, in Roman what times. likelihood there was that of this happening. Mount Etna cannot make explosions of this type, because Vesuvius was a completely different magma than that we have here on Mount Etna. The composition of the melt is different. And not only this, Vesuvius was quiet for centuries before this eruption. And during this period of quietness, the gases could accumulate beneath the blood, which uh, Closed the volcano, no? and uh, the tension increased. Taylor was capable to blow up the black, and then actually a very explosive eruption was a consequence, which buried uh, Pompeii beneath uh, palaces and ashes, and Herculaneum beneath uh, mud flows. This can't happen. This can't happen on Mount Etna. Professor, why is it that after all your studies, you still can't predict when a volcano is going to erupt? Well, you see, every volcano has its own character. And what you have learned in one volcano, you cannot apply it to another one. And Mount Etna is uh, under surveying since a short time, since a short period. It lasts at least uh, several tens of years till we know its character. And then it may be we can predict something, provided that we have the necessary instruments at our disposal. Now, in 1966, uh, uh, there were the beginnings of a seismic survey here on Etna, which you hoped would tell you something about when an eruption would occur. What's happened to that? Well, uh, this was only lended by England, by Edinburgh Professor Wilma, <coughs> for one year. And then uh, they had to take it back. And we have only one station, actually, on Mount Etna. What's the problem in uh, money? We must have money, and uh, I think we can do it with an international collaboration with France and uh, England. There are professors who are very interested to collaborate with us, and so I think in a short time we will have uh, a net of uh, seismographs on Etna sufficient to study the volcano as we should. It's difficult to be sanguine about a volcano when it's still in the process of spewing out molten lava at 1,000 degrees centigrade. But for the moment at least, Etna appears to be less dangerous than destructive. Even so, it's clearly essential that Professor Rittman and his colleagues get the facilities they need to complete their studies of the volcano. After the havoc caused by this eruption, they'll probably find their demands will receive more attention than before would be the first to admit that the scientists may as well yet be know long very long little about but volcanoes. The need have they no can't yet predict them. Out of they time. can't even tell how long the an eruption in a volcano's behavior. Volcano British scientists are now taking part in this work on Etna. One problem is that no matter how thorough the research, it can only examine a tiny part of the active lifespan of a volcano, which may be 10 million mountain as the lava streams cool, they move more slowly, perhaps only a few hundred yards a day giving the villagers some hope that the flow may soon stop. But here at